And you know what? The important thing is that everybody that's here is going to make a difference today. You're going to go home, and you're going to take all this with you, and you're not going to sit behind a computer or something. You're going to get up, get, make sure everybody else gets off, off their butt and gets out here. And it's really important that we don't do these things behind the computer anymore. So we got to get out here and show support. You got to show numbers. You got to show bodies. You got to get away from all this modern stuff. You know, we need to get back to tradition. And one of the things that I that I uh, had last year, I looked at my five peers because last year I saw that there were a lot of people not getting along with each other. And one of the prayers that I had last year was to come here today and see people getting along and to see some young people because it's, it's these people right here. Our guys that come up and sang like that today, those are the people that we need to honor today because they're, they're keeping those traditions and they're keeping these young people to understand who, who they are. You don't have that anymore. You know, we need to have prayers before we do things. You know, we've lo we're losing a lot of the spirit of what we're doing because we're forgetting to pray. People don't know what tobacco ties are anymore. That's kind of crazy, you know. But you know, it's. I, I realized that uh, like a couple weeks ago, I was complaining about it, you know. And I realized today that you know what? That's my fault. That's my fault. How come I'm not out there teaching somebody something different? Showing them how they should be doing something. And that's what I see here today. This is what's been, this is what's happened. And it's great. So I see an answer to my prayer here. And I'm really, really happy to see that. Which means that all the people that are here have a big, bright spirit within, within every one of us. And it's great. No matter what color you are, just like Conti said, it doesn't matter. No matter if you wear a dress or if you wear a pair of pants, who cares? You're still going to be out here being counted. You're still going to be a target by the government. So let's get together and say no more. That's one thing I liked about this I don't know more movement. Because they're hitting on something that we should have been doing all along. Get our numbers. Get your people out there. That's what we need to do. We have to be standing up and accounted for. So, the thing is, we got to remember that when these women came to us, way up there, people listened. You know why they listened? Because they remembered that our women are our backbone. We as warriors, as men, we are nothing without our women. They're the ones that, that get us to stand up and be a, a strong man. We can't be anybody. You, know, you can't be who you are. You can't walk that walk without having that spirit. And that's what I see here today, and I'm really happy to see that. Again, it's the I don't know more movements. One of the things that I really saw was a big difference. And I'm going to support, I'm going to continue to support that as long as it's there. But the thing is, we, we have to say no more on everything. No more. That's it. No more. no more! We're going to stand up and say no more everywhere. No more. I was talking to Billy uh, Robidoux just recently over in Australia. He's over there saying, I don't know more! Australia. That come from one little voice in Canada all the way across the, the world. There's people doing that. That's because there's people standing up and being accounted for. There you are. Be accounted for. Don't talk about something and not show up. Be a strong person. Be a good human being. Be here for your people. Did you ever give a commitment to your people? If that's what you did, then you better be right here. If you said, okay, well, I want to be A. When the NK calls you to do something, don't sit there and say, I'm busy. Get up off your butt and go do it. That's what, that's what we're doing right here, right now. And I'm very happy, supportive, and I'm, I just can't believe how, how great this feels today. The spirit's really alive here. It feels great. And uh, one of the things I wanted to say about Leonard, 
is that what to kind of, kind of hit on that a little bit last year was that uh, he has a lot of projects, you know. Listen to him. He's got a lot of projects to do. That means we should support, support every little project he has too. Not just trying to get him out. Sure, we need to get him out as soon as possible. But we also need to support each other. And that's what we're not doing. Let's do that. Let's get together and say, okay, this part, this guy from down in California is going to come up here. We're going to talk. Let's sit down and talk. We don't do that anymore. We don't know what's going on with each other. Let's let's make a difference. Let's start it today. So when you go home, take that with you. They say that uh, Leonard is doing time. That's his Sundance. That's his Sundance. I want I want to sit here and honor him today for that. And but I alluded this pipe again today, not because I see people separated, but because I see you together now. And I would ask that when we get done here today, whoever wants to come smoke this pipe with me, you're welcome. I don't care what, what color you are, it's fine. But uh, before I get done here, I would like to sing one song, sing a song dance song for Uncle Leonard. And I know that he's going to feel that, just like he felt these other songs. And, you know, I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really proud of all you guys that sang today, you know. It means a lot. I have a whole lot of respect for your families, for your new family. I've always felt that because you keep those traditions. You don't let it go. And that's important. That's what everybody should be doing. And I, I really honor you for that. It, it means a lot. A lot more than you ever know. Okay, well, I'm going to do the song, and then I'm going to let my brother Steve get up here. But, you know, I just have to go out and come out and have my say, so... That's what I have to say today, so I hope that uh, you can take that home with you and take that spirit with you. Use that every day, you know, we're not, we're not uh, the kind of people that just go and go to church every Sunday. It's something that you do every day. It's how you live your life. That's what you need to remember. That's the important thing. Get up and say your prayers. Take care of the spirits. Take care of the earth. That's all part of who you are and what your walk is. Don't forget that. I hope.